What does a forensic scientist do when they retire? Retirement for a forensic scientist isn't necessarily the end of the line. In fact, for many, it's just an evolution of their contributions to the field of forensics. So, what does a day in the post-career life of a forensic scientist look like? Well, first off, they breathe. They've probably been breathing the whole time, but not like this. There's the sweet scent of freedom that comes from sleeping in, from having no pagers buzzing them at odd hours, because some new piece of evidence just got fished out of the river. Then, as their toes dig into the ground of their newfound free time, assuming they've rooted themselves somewhere peaceful, like here in Portland, Oregon, with nature close at hand, they consider their options. Some dive into consulting roles. There's a high demand for experienced forensic scientists in the private sector, and their expertise can command a pretty penny. Who wouldn't want the person who spent decades unlocking mysteries for the state now unlocking private puzzles? It's not all about the Benjamins, though. They might aim their magnifying glass at education, teaching future generations the tricks of the trade. Imagine decades of experience distilled down into lectures, labs, and maybe a little tough love when students think they can cut corners. They also write. They jot down all those wild cases that were too sensitive or too graphic, or held too close to the vest while they were working. There's a market for crime novels or even true crime accounts, and who better to pen those than someone who's actually lived it? But let's not dismiss volunteering. Some retired forensic scientists become advocates for wrongful conviction groups. They use their unique skills to sniff out the kind of overlooked evidence that could set an innocent person free. And of course, there's always the option to kick back and enjoy the sweet absence of responsibility. They hike trails, sail rivers, maybe get a little crafty in the garage at home. Perhaps they even sit on the beach, letting the sound of the waves wash over them, finally at ease. In the end, it's about the individual and the vast amount of opportunity their years of experience has unlocked. They might leave the lab, but the lab never fully leaves them. Now, it's just on their terms.